hello and welcome to another video and today we're looking at some more MotoGP 20 gameplay that has been released this time the gameplay is looking at the fuel management system so we'll uh, watch the video and we'll have a quick look see what we can pick out it's not a very long video so it shouldn't it shouldn't be too long of a video really find the perfect balance between weight fuel range and performance so that means the bike's probably gonna actually feel different uh, at the start of the race obviously in the current game the bike feels the same throughout, the only thing that changes is the tyres. If you have tyre wear off, you could do the same lap time on the first lap, well, not the first lap because you have to start from the standing start, but then, as I say, the second lap and the last lap you could do exactly the same lap time because there'd be no difference in feeling on the bike if you've made sure the temperatures stay the same, obviously. But it actually seems like the bike will feel different. So, that could be, that could really be tactical, especially in like a league race situation where maybe if you want to get out at the front at the start, you might put a bit less fuel in, because it seems like well, cause you can uh, lower the amount of fuel that's actually in the bike. Perhaps you like the feeling when there's less fuel in the bike and you're willing to lose a bit of straight line speed to compensate for that. Obviously using a lower mapping. So obviously you can actually change the fuel, the amount of fuel that's in the bike at the start of the race. So a bit like the F1 games, obviously, if you've ever played those. Change them. Wow, you would not want to go 13 laps in a 28 lap race. Definitely not. Too much fuel will slow you down. Not enough will end your race. So Miller's sort of 24 as fast as up there. But this rider's run out of fuel and use it mapping wisely. At level 2 it's easy to run out of fuel, adjust it during the race to avoid retiring. Run for victory. Not out of fuel. So, yeah, and there's an animation there as well, so little animation when he runs out of fuel. Which is interesting then. Interesting stuff. So, there's not too much to say, obviously. I mean, most of that was just me reading out the captions that were on the video, but... Obviously, it does seem like there's going to just be another extra level of the tactics in in the game this year. So you can lower the fuel, or or maybe you can even... I doubt you can increase it, because quite why you'd want to do that. But, perhaps if you can increase it, you can use a higher engine mapping. So it seems like it said Power Mode 2 is what it runs out in, and that's what they've been running in most of the videos. So I'm guessing there's uh, three levels of power then, there's 0, 1 and 2, because I think he's in power level 0, is he later on in the video? Yeah. So there's three uh, settings for the power, 0, 1 and 2, like I've just said, just repeated myself, sorry about that. Obviously uh, 0 must be the most fuel comic. It'd be interesting to see how much straight line speed you lose, because you're not going to really lose too much to the corners by using a low mapping, so it might be one of those things where you swap it uh, as you go into a corner maybe, Obviously, on the exit, getting on the power, you'll probably lose it. But uh, maybe if you want to go mid corner, you could save some fuel. Would be interesting. It's uh, interesting how they're always using Marquez at Austria to show these things off. It's seven laps. So, oh, right. So, yeah, that was that's weird, actually. It's something I just noticed then. So, it's a seven lap race that they've shown off here. Yet, back in this bit of the video, hang on, where is it? It's a 28, it says it's a 28 lap race. I'm guessing the footage must be from a different race then. But. Does the game automatically just give you 100% distance race, and you'll have to decrease it if you're uh, if you're doing a shorter race? Because it doesn't really make sense if you had to do that, because then you'd just have to take loads of fuel out the bike all the time when you want to do a short race. Otherwise, you'd just be really heavy and slow. So that'd be interesting. As well as the thing that's not mentioned in this video that I'm actually like wondering about qualifying. So, for example, obviously you're not going to go out with many laps of fuel in qualifying. Can you run out of fuel there as well? So obviously you'll have to come back to the pits and get more. So obviously, already, if your tyres wear out and qualify and you come back in and get a new set. But will you have to come back in and get refuelled up? That is something to think about. Obviously in real life, but a GP as well, the qualifying sessions are not very long. And that's obviously the same in the game. So would you maybe just fill the bike for a certain amount of laps and just come in and change the tyres? Rather than changing the fuel? Because, is yeah, another thing actually that I've just thought about in my head... Is there a time limit for this? So, in qualifying, would you lose time by filling up the bike? Obviously, I know you don't lose time by changing the tyres, but potentially putting more fuel in the bike. Well, actually, does it, there is actually some text there, isn't there? So, ga the gasoline load in the tank determines the maximum number of laps that can be completed, but it auto alters the behaviour on track. A lighter bike is faster and consumes the tyres less. So, the tyre wear is also something you've got to think about when you're putting more fuel in, while a heavier bike has greater stability and range. Timed sessions. Before you take to the track, you can decide how much to fill the tank. In timed sessions, it's recommended you take on a small amount of gasoline when trying to make the best time on the lap. But in any case, the fuel load can be changed based on the number of consecutive laps you want to complete. So it doesn't actually say there 
whether you would uh, lose time in a qualifying session, whether you'd have to wait. I'm guessing probably no, because obviously with the tyres you don't, and you would in real life, so yeah, perhaps it's just you can change the amount you want to do. But I'm guessing then you can run out run out of fuel in qualifying as well, then, that confirms. So I was just asking a question, it actually answered if I just read the text. A race. Before the start, the mechanics fill the tank enough to reach the end of the race. Less gasoline can be loaded, but it's a risk to take on I take only after a studied good race strategy. So yeah, I guess that really comes into it for the sort of league races and stuff. You might have done a few practice races with some of the people in there or whatever, and you're like, okay, well, I can have this amount of fuel left in the race at the end, so I'll take a little bit less than that and just do a bit of fuel conservation, maybe. Engine mapping also affects fuel consumption. With the more aggressive mapping, you exploit all the horsepower delivered to the engine to the detriment of consumption. As, uh, the rest of that is cut off. But uh, that's another interesting fact then. The engine mapping can affect the fuel. So uh, pretty interesting stuff there. I'm glad that they actually uh, have this little text that we can read quickly. It'd be nice if they scrolled through it. Or maybe if they'd uh, stated some of this stuff. Because obviously they just basically tell you, oh, you can run out of fuel if you use the power mapping. If you use a high power mapping, you run out of fuel. Have a look at the UI then, before he runs out. So, it, does this fuel warning light just come up when you know when you're about to run out of fuel, or is it always there telling you how much you've got left? Because I actually haven't really been paying attention in the other videos to look for it, unless they just ha they're just adding these little features in, or that they're enabling them or whatever, just to show us. Because you could probably disable fuel consumption like you can with tyre wear for a guess. And I suppose if you have it off, it's not gonna you know show you how much fuel you've got left. So perhaps that's what's been going on. But I think that's probably all I've got to say for the video. I actually uh, came up with some interesting uh, questions there. I don't know if anybody, you know, I, I doubt anyone from Milestone would see this. But if you do, could you let us know sort of uh, what happens. But obviously quite a couple of them were answered by the text here. But I hope you have all enjoyed that video. Let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments below. What you think about the uh, whole fuel consumption thing in the new game if you're looking forward to it or if you're a bit worried about it obviously you can turn it off I think if you don't want it but uh, it's definitely adding a new level of you know, tactics into the game which is always good it's always nice to have a little bit of mind games going on while you're trying to race at the same time so yeah I think that's uh, probably about it so I hope you've enjoyed the video hope you're all staying safe if you have enjoyed this and you're not subscribed do feel free to subscribe and I shall see you in the next video